Business and Advice. This is brought to you by IndieWrestling.us. Check out IWC, RWA, and more. And listeners like you, support this show at Patreon.com slash Wrestling Mayhem Show. Just wait, just wait, just wait, just wait. Just wait. The Raw Wrap Up by Mike Sorgat, Sorgatron on the Twitter. This is the show where we talk about the show that you watch every Monday night because it's what you've been doing for 25 years, maybe, right? And it's 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 habit forming. It's 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 the pinnacle of your wrestling fandom because you sit there and 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 on the Twitter with millions of people doing the same thing at the same time, and it's like you're having a watch party every week. Well. This watch party is a little different. I got with me, of course. Well, this part is not different. I got with me <laughs> the usual <laughs> Mad Mike from Poughkeepsie, New York. Oh, wait, let's fix your title there, and then I'll go to you. He is the mm. only mayhem or future endeavored by the WWE. Oh, man, Sorg. This is going to be weird. Yes. Hold on, adjusting things real quick. So, so I had some things to do. I had some. Yeah, you're, some, you're a busy guy, Sork. I'm you're a busy, busy guy. guy. I I had some work to take care of. We were live streaming Social Justice <laughs> Innovation Weekend. Um, you can go check that out. Our friends repair the world, uh, Pittsburgh. Uh, please do that. It actually was some great stuff. You have some interest. I, I think the chat room is already having some fun. <laughs> That's that, gonna that be great. Really spoil thing. So, Mad Mike, what do we do when one of us did not watch the program that we are meant to review during this Facebook live stream and 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 podcast? We play a little game called Two Truths and a Lie! Well, step right up. This week's contestants is me, Sorgatron. Uh, remind the people how we play this game again, please, Mad Mike. All right. So basically, um, I'm going to give Sorg three facts. Mm -hmm. Three. Uno, dos, tres. Three facts. Uh, two, two of them are going to be real. One of them is going to be complete bullshit. Unless I flip it on my, um, flip it on its head, or just flat it out try and confuse Sork. Right. <laughs> yes. Sure. Because that happens on occasion. What the hell are rules well, for? Well, 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 sometimes I'll give you two lies and a truth, but I yes, will tell of you. Of course. Of course. Yes. All right. Uh, so Sorg, are you ready for this first one? I am ready and clueless. So let's do this. Okay. Uh, fact the first. Seth Rollins beat John Cena clean. Mm. John Cena or Seth Rollins beat John Cena clean. Clean the. Uh... Yep. Yep. Okay. All right. Uh huh. Uh huh. Fact: the second Seth Rollins beat Roman Reigns clean. Oh, all right. Yeah, yeah. So Seth is in the elimination chamber, so maybe they're doing something with this. Okay. Okay, I got you. Okay. Uh huh. Uh huh. Fact: the third Seth Rollins. Beat Finn Balor clean. Wait a minute. <laughs> <laughs> I have already confused Sword. No, no, no. I already and, feel and, like. And Sword, we are following standard two truths and a lie format. Okay. This is not a trick. Not this a trick. is not a trick. Not a trick. Okay. This is not a trick. I'm feeling. I, I feel like the obvious answer is Finn. Because Finn can't get, like, anything these days, right? <laughs> You, you you feel like Finn is what a truth or a lie? I feel well, I, walk, walk some people through your process. Oh, or. two truths and a lie. Like I feel. Yeah. Like, wait a minute. Wait wait wait. Truth and a lie. Wait a minute. I just did the math on this. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. So two truths and a lie. Sork. Seth Rollins beat two people clean as a sheet. I love you. Still hold, held out three fingers when you said two people for you guys yes. on Audio World. I want to paint this Roman, picture. Cena or Finn. Who did he not beat on this Raw? Who did he not, <laughs> did he not beat? You know what? <laughs> I'm going to flip it. We're starting off hot, Sorg. I want to flip it, and I'm going to say Finn's the one he did not beat. You are correct. Holy crap. Because Finn, needs, <laughs> Finn needs, needs some good luck here going into something this big. Yes, yes. Um. Okay. All right. So Seth Rollins beat John Cena clean. My God, I'm seeing the comment count right now. What uh -huh. the hell is going on in there? Uh -huh. Yes, yeah, yeah. Because there's someone else in the chat room who did not see Raw. Oh, no. So he is, 
He is as confused as you are. That's amazing. I've seen it like shoot. I just saw the numbers shoot up. I'm like, oh god, what's happening in there? <laughs> uh huh. Yeah. So Seth Rollins beat John Cena clean, and he beat Roman Reigns clean. All right, now Sorg. The next set. Are you ready for this? Wait, wait, wait. So did he have two matches, or was it a triple threat? Oh, 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 oh we we will get into this. Sorg. Okay, okay. This, this is will play this into gonna it. be this is okay. gonna be a progression. Okay. All right. All right. Um. Okay. Uh, let's see. Ooh. All right. Fact the first. I love how excited he gets about this. Former TNA commissioner Jeff Jarrett had more screen time than former TNA commissioner Kurt Angle tonight. I believe that because I know he's in the Hall of Fame. That was what. Uh, that, yeah. Okay. 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 Oh, oh, okay. Fact the first. Fact yeah, the first. Fact the first. Fact the first. Fact the second. Raw averaged one match an hour tonight. One match an hour? One match an hour. We are leading to the pay-per-view. Uh, averaged. 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 Wait, wait. Average. Averaged. Averaged. That means there might be like four matches tonight. No, no. That means there were three matches. <laughs> okay. That, that's what that's, that, not that's what that, I guess that that's is. Okay. That's three, three matches All for right. three hours is one match per hour. All right. You're the one. I'm, I'm a scientist. You yes yes you're the one with the bachelor in the arts I'm the one with the bachelor's in the arts or, or you uh, no, 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 you with the science you with the science I'm master the arts. of science master of science <laughs> master of science Wait, and engineering you motherfucker a, you have a master's yes oh I was not I aware of that I was not aware yes. I thought I was about okay okay you absolutely are, that is like, All right you got a white coat yeah. and everything don't you yeah absolutely all right I'll believe Grant, your math I'll believe your Grant, math. Okay. I use it as my cosplay to play Doctor Horrible but still. <laughs> I just glad you get uh, you know I, I I'm just glad you know the the education's paying for itself itself with that mm -hmm. yeah yeah, okay. yeah no absolutely all right, uh, all right. fact the third fact the third Vanguard one made his raw debut Vanguard one made his raw debut okay yep okay so Jeff Cherry had more screen time than Kurt Angle Raw averaged a match an hour and Vanguard one made his debut one of those are bullshit. Yeah, well, there's no way Vanguard made his debut. No way they're doing Vanguard, right? Yeah, that, that's know. false. I don't know. Have yeah. you seen Matt Hardy's that's tweet? They, the drones are bullshit. Drones are bullshit. No, they're not happy in WWE. There's no, they, they, they can't do that. They, they haven't anything flying in a in an arena since that Stridex balloon back in the day. Okay. I'm going with it. You, you are correct. Yes. You are correct. Vanguard 1, unfortunately, did not make his debut tonight. I'm wrong. Son of a um, bitch. Yep. Um. Also, unfortunately, Jeff Jarrett did have more screen time than Kurt Angle this week yeah. because Kurt Angle was not on the show. Oh, no. Yes. Uh, and Raw had three matches, Sorg. Glad I wasn't at this Raw. Raw had... No, no. I, oh, oh we're, Sorg, Sorg. We have not even begun to Raw. Okay? Now, now Sorg... Um, you told me something interesting before we went live. Uh, you said that the Hulu version is nine, of is Raw 90 is, is 90 minutes, 90, correct? 90 minutes without commercials. Okay. All right. Now, keeping that in mind. Fact the first. <laughs> <laughs> what a what, Okay. All right. Keeping wait, that in mind. Wait. Fact the first. Yes. Seth Rollins spent two thirds of a raw Hulu cut in the ring. Okay. That is 60 minutes. Can I have a side question? Can I sidebar? Was no, it, not yet. What, okay. Not yet. Not yet. Not yet. Because once, really once we finish this one, I'm going to talk about what actually happened on raw. <laughs> All right. Okay. Back to the second. You will probably not see a divas match, a women's match on the Hulu cut of Raw. Oh. Okay. Fact the third. I feel like I need to report to you what I actually do end up seeing on the live the cut. Oh, you have to. <laughs> okay. You have to. You okay. absolutely have to. Um Fact the third, Apollo Cruz has lost his last name. Huh. Okay. Wait. No. No. Wait. 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 So you said yeah, I, yeah. I probably won't see a divas match on the Hulu cut. 
Uh, a, a women's match, yeah, yeah. I, I misspoke. Yeah, I, I said match. demons. Right? Oh, sorry. Yeah, yeah. Uh, old habits. Yeah, I, I. You don't know that, that though. I that you know you don't know that. Mm. Unless you know that there was not a divas or God, there was not a divas match. There's not yeah, women's I, match. I, 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 yeah, I, I misspoke. I misspoke. It's yeah. women's match. Yeah, now I'm doing it. So. Yeah, I know. That's my bad. Uh, Seth went but, two thirds of a. So which one is this? Is false? Which one is false? Uh, what was the last one again? Uh, Apollo lost his last name. I think Apollo. Apollo still, lost it. I think Apollo's got still right. got his last name because I think I saw it on Twitter. Uh no, Cruz can indeed lose because he has lost it. Oh no, he is he is down to Apollo. Oh, that yep. seems unfortunate. Yes. So Sorg, you will most likely not see a women's match on the Hulu cut, or Seth Rollins spent two thirds the amount of time of the Raw Hulu cut in the ring. I'm feeling I'm feeling you're hanging your hat on this women's match thing. As as truth or lies? I think it's a lot. I think that's the jeez. I feel like it's the truth. Aha. Wait, there's sad faces happening out there. <laughs> I'm seeing <laughs> like, I'm seeing crying faces out there. Okay. And there's uh-huh. holy yeah, crap yeah. the comments. <laughs> yes. Yes. Uh, to- uh, Tony Blair wanted me to shout him out. He he's the one who didn't see Raw. He is freaking thinking, out. The- I'm thinking the Divas match is the false then if, uh, of the two. You are correct because uh, you might see it. I don't know honestly. It's it's kind of- <laughs> so Sorg. Um, tonight on Raw, uh, for for those of you doing the math, Seth Rollins spent over an hour in the ring. What the hell are they doing with Seth? Sorg, do you know what they did for the first two hours of Raw? Seth Rollins. A gauntlet match. Oh, no. Featuring all seven men in the Elimination Chamber. That, what? So, I'm really, really curious what your Hulu cut shows you tomorrow. Oh, no. (laughs) Because you're going to miss some stuff, Sork. Oh, no. Well, Uh if anybody's got a login for a... you know, this is a good time to, to sign up for Sling TV, probably. Yes, it is. So, <laughs> because... so, and, and keeping in mind, the gauntlet match, regardless of how many pinfalls occur, is one match. Right. That's how they average. Okay. One, one okay. match an hour. I see what you did there. Yes. And it's accurate. Yeah. It is accurate, yeah, Sork. Yeah, I guess so. It's, it's accurate. Yes. It's entirely accurate. I am a scientist. That is a truth fact. Um, all right. Uh, so Sorg, uh, we'll do what we'll do one more. Um, to uh, fact the first. Fact the first. Bray Wyatt and Matt Hardy laughed at each other again for another five minutes. I believe it. Uh, five minutes is is kind of a is is like a it felt like kind of thing, not an accurate number, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, fact the second. Michael Cole and Corey Graves actually talked about weather in wrestling statistics. Oh, okay. Okay. Uh-huh. All right. Uh-huh. I feel like there's been some weather talk a lot lately, so I'm, okay. I'm going to right. keep that in mind. All right. In fact, the third, Asuka kicked Nia Jax in the face, and their match was canceled because of it. I don't think you would have come out of that weather thing out of nowhere. What was the first okay. one? What was the first one again? The first, um, the first one was Bray and Matt laughing at each other. I minutes. believe that happened again. Okay. I, they didn't cancel Nia and Oscar. Nope. Okay. Yeah, you're yeah you're right. Yeah. Uh, Nia and Oscar had a showdown. Nia hit I, her. Once I didn't or twice. see. Yeah. I didn't see enough caps from Bobby F J Town's account to <laughs> see that as a problem, right? Yeah, that's fair. Um, however, they still have not explained because now they're saying that if Naya beats Asuka, it's Naya and Asuka in a triple threat match for whichever women's championship Asuka goes for. Oh, jeez. Which is... So a tag-along clause? I don't know because that doesn't make any sense because or, if Oscar wants to challenge Charlotte, does that mean Nia also goes to SmackDown? Yeah, well, if it's, it's one of those things that you do the math on it, um, which I, which you know I am want to do, <laughs> and you have to, and there's a question about it. That means you know it's a clause that's not going to matter, right? 
Plus, yes, they've loved doing this because they were doing that all over SmackDown last week. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, right. Um, and, and Bray and Matt are apparently going to have a match with each other, and they just they literally. I wouldn't be surprised if some of this was a repeat promo with Elimination Chamber dubbed in like the Spanish Godzilla films. Okay, all right, which kind of fits yeah. with the whole series anyway. So, yeah, but like, oh, it's so dull, yeah. so dull. But yeah, so getting to the fun part, um, Michael Cole and Corey Graves actually uh, did some journalism. They did mm-hmm. a journalism, and they talked to Dana Brooke. <laughs> okay. They talked to Dan Brooke about what kind of stats she was taking. Oh, amazing. Wait, wait is she a uh-huh. commentary? No, she wasn't. But it was it was like one of those I talked to her in the back sort of thing. Okay. And apparently, Seamus does not have a good win-loss record when the temperature is below 60 degrees. <laughs> I really hope she's really doing Is she in? It's like... I, what's that site? Cage Match Database? Where it has everybody's matches? Yeah, uh, cage, um, cage, uh, no, yeah, cage, cage. Rest, wrestling, wrestling data.com. Oh, yeah, that one too. Wrestling data.com. That, that's what lost I lost a lot of them too. Uh, but yeah, it was, <laughs> it was really weird. <laughs> it was really, really weird. Um, yeah, so Raw, Raw was weird tonight. Like, Seth Rollins was easily the star of the show because mm-hmm. he, he started off the show with Roman beat Roman, wrestled Cena, beat Cena, and then went on to wrestle um, Elias. And that's where he uh, came to an end. But yeah, um, it was was a weird show. Because the gauntlet match, I'm sorry, I'm pretty sure you could have guessed this, was for nothing. It's just (laughs) a thing they did. It's just a thing they did, and... I was wondering where, what the rest of the roster was doing at this time. Like, why did they even bother showing up? Uh, we got John Ashbaugh saying Raw was quite impactish. Hmm. Like, the wrestling quality was good. Like, but uh, over halfway into the uh, like, once Seth got eliminated from the Gauntlet match, I didn't care because I knew who was going to end up on top anyway. Could have been Braun, right? Yeah, exactly. Um, but uh, Braun and Miz was fun, but it, it, I don't know. It was just, it was a weird. I I'm really curious to see what they cut out on the Hulu cut because I have a feeling you're gonna get like trimmed down versions of everything Seth did, and then it's just gonna cut to Braun and Miz. That's weird. I, I don't know because I, I, I don't watch a lot of the. Because I, I like to watch them live, so I don't I don't watch a lot of the, the Hulu cuts of those ones. So uh, I don't know what the tendency is for it. So yeah, we'll see. Oh, and uh, we were informed that um, the the elimination chamber is going to start with three men in the ring. Okay, that, that's why I kind of figured. Yeah, that's why I figured too. Even though it would have been really great to have two people share a pod, mm-hmm. I still think uh, Seth and Roman should share a pod. Yeah, I still think they just should have. awkwardly. Yeah. Awkwardly. Mm-hmm. Oh, and um, they also did weird post match interviews with everyone but Roman, I believe, because they didn't want people to boo Roman Reigns, um, because he's winning the Elimination right. Chamber. Sorry, no, no, he isn't. No, he isn't. Oh, there you go. That's so, what sorry, I I was this was like... this was all for momentum. Yeah, and the one person who was out there the least amount of time, I believe. Roman Reigns is going to win. Yeah, we'll see. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see. We'll, we'll see. see. We'll, we'll see. see but, uh, we'll see what happens. But yeah. Um, yeah, but Raw was really, and the main event, I didn't really talk about it, the women's match. It was just a six woman tag. It was just a six woman tag, like all the people who were in the elimination chamber. So pretty lazy night. Was there anything exciting happening tonight on Raw? Well, like I said, Seth Rollins is amazing. Seth, the first 65 minutes of Raw, because that's what Seth Rollins wrestled, is fantastic. And especially because of the guy, who, the guys that he beats. But after that, it turns into a weakened Seth Rollins against Elias. And it's fine, but once, once uh, Rollins loses, then it's like, okay, I don't really... 
because the crowd was dead at that point too. Yeah, yeah. Like the crowd was dead at that point because honestly, Finn and Elias in the middle of a gauntlet match. I don't know. It just it didn't like there were no backstage segments. Yeah, there were no promos. Like there was, there was not out a lot over, going on. It stretched out over several Popeyes chicken commercials and. Uh... Oh my god! Oh okay. Oh what? wait wait wait! What? Hold on! Hold on! Hold on! You just triggered. You just triggered me. Trigger warning. Oh no! Hashtag, hashtag trigger warning. Okay. Um, we're gonna do one more two truths and a lie, Sorg. Oh no! Is that about the commercials? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it is, Sorg. Okay. Are, are, are you ready? You know what? This, this one's actually going to be two lies and the truth. Okay. All right? Okay. Are you ready? Um, <clears throat> okay. The Rock had more screen time than Oscar today. <laughs> okay. Hold, hold, hold on. Hold on. Not done. Not done. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, 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 wait. Uh, Truth. <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Damn it. Uh, Farouk had more screen time than Asuka tonight. Damn. Yeah. Or Dolph Ziggler had more screen time than Asuka tonight. One of these is true. One of these is true? One I, of these is true. Oh, it could be... Oh, well... Wait, I went. If it was if we were playing the other game, I would say that 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 Ron Simmons was false. So I'm okay. saying that's a false one. So do okay. I pick The okay. Rock or Dolph Ziggler? Because both of them are probably in a lot of commercials during the night. <laughs> All right? Because I I don't know. Are we? Is is well, how soon's Rampage coming out? Is it? Are we Rampage, in that? Rampage is a couple months away. Couple months couple away. Months. Then I'm going Dolph Ziggler. You are correct because they kept showing the quick cricket wireless fucking commercial oh, with Dolph boy. Ziggler standing over a woman like he e has to pee or two has to pee on her. Dolph Ziggler, don't pee on that woman. Oh god, it's so not good. It's so not good. But yeah, um <laughs> Alex Miller says if Roman wins the chamber, I know when to leave Mania. Well, there's that too. That's that's an excellent point. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Yeah. Raw Raw was Sorg. Um no. I know you haven't seen it yet, yeah. so your answer will probably be an hour and a half because Bob, that's what Bobby you're gonna watch. Town comedy says watch Raw, it's awesome. So Yeah. And all right, and there there okay. Before before I say how much, there are two schools of thought that I was seeing on the air now on this. I'm in one camp, a lot of people are in another camp. Okay. You'll probably like it because it is a shit ton of wrestling. It's a shit ton of wrestling, and a lot of it is very good. Yay, shit ton of wrestling fans. Yes. However, Uh me, there's no stories being told. Nothing of consequence actually happened on this show. Um, To me, this is the wrong time to do this kind of raw. Okay. This is the wrong time to because first, while Seth was great, if anyone else in that chamber could have used pinning Roman clean and pinning Cena clean, Seth Rollins is the guy that needs it the least. Right, the man who's actually beaten Roman and Cena before in championship matches. If that was Finn doing it, amazing, that would have been phenomenal. But it was Seth. It was Seth. It's the shield boner again. Like, uh, but the first hour of Raw was very good. Yeah, uh, Tina saying it fell flat as hell for a go home show. Mm-hmm. Which, again, it, it ended with the women doing a six man tag, but it it was weird. Like, it didn't feel like a, a capper to the show. It right. didn't send me home saying. Oh man, I can't wait to see what happens in the chamber because it was three sets of two women, essentially. Because you had Sasha and Bailey on the outside, Mickey saving Alexa from absolution, and then them just like standing arm in arm, like, hey, we're kind of friends again. Even though we're all in the chamber this weekend. Yeah, and Alex Cars is saying Finn should have beat them all except Braun, which I'd also accept. Like the the fact that 
Braun won the gauntlet match is the least surprising and least creative thing they could have done. Mm-hmm. But definitely watch the Seth stuff. The Seth matches were great. The rest of it, I thought, was a letdown. All right. Well, we'll see. We'll see what the Hulu cut has in store for me tomorrow. Yeah, so I, I'd, I'd watch about an hour. Uh, I'd say an hour and 20 minutes because just to hear the commentary of talking about Dana Brooks' stats. Oh, I hope we get that part. Oh, you're not going to get that part, Sorg. Uh, <laughs> Sorg, there is a... You're not picking up on this, Sorg. There is a two-hour match on this show. <laughs> Man, a two-hour match. There... That's the gauntlet match. Was two hours? It was two hours. I thought it was you, eight hour. No, no, no. That's how long Seth was in the ring. Oh. The gauntlet match was two fucking hours. Okay. Because this Sorg, is the part. Sorg. This is the part where the guy that edits the Hulu cut is like, what the fuck do I do with this? I'm telling you, you're as soon as Seth is eliminated, you're gonna skip all the rest of that and get right to Miz and Braun. Wow, man, just give you're up gonna you're gonna skip Elias versus Finn, Finn versus Miz, and you're gonna get right to Miz versus Braun. I all guarantee. right, well, we'll see, we'll see what what has the store we have in store for us for that. Um, man, thank you everybody. An active freaking uh, there's like over a hundred comments on here. That's insane. Yes. Jeez. This raw, this raw is really weird. Like some of it's really good, but the rest yeah. of it is is a raw. Maybe they'll put everything <laughs> else on the Hulu cut. I doubt. And give me a flashback <laughs> of the, of the match. No, because Sorg, if they do that, you need to find the match. I guess so. You need, you need to find the match to at least watch um, Seth's part of it. If I find an illicit copy of uh, of Raw from tonight. Even though mm-hmm. I pay for the Hulu cut, it was completely legit, you know, and you know, I'm okay, right? Like that, 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 that works out. No, no, probably not. Sorry, uh, I think that works out, right? Somebody, if somebody has a DVR, please loan me their password. <laughs> so, uh, one of those Wi-Fi DVRs or something. I don't know what they. I don't know what the kids with 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 cable have these days. But all right, thank you, Mad Mike, for watching Raw and let me know <laughs> what happened ish uh we'll yeah see. it's uh it's it's a weird draw mm-hmm. it's a weird draw all right you can check out everything of course mad mike 483 on the twitter that is right i tweet about things and stuff and wrestles and of course you can join us on the main show li- uh, live 9 p.m eastern time on the wrestling mayhem show facebook page we're gonna have the gavel david lawless with us here in studio the recent winner of the kswa battle bowl it's kind of like the royal rumble but it's battle bowl and they don't round it off to 30 it's basically whoever is there i don't think it was like 36 people in that thing this this year uh and nice. uh, we'll have a lot of fun with that mayhem mania it will be and, returning as well and sorg i assume we will be starting the show in the middle of a smackdown gauntlet match with all the people oh from the presumably <laughs> presumably so it'll be interesting to see what happens there? Thank you, Mad Mike. Thank you, everybody joining us in the chat room. Until next time, keep it raw.